also YouTube, NCG here. Um, now, last week, not last week, on our last video, we got a comment, um, which I thought was a really good idea. It was, um, can we do a video of the differences between real Yu-Gi-Oh cards and fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Um, because sometimes they are getting better and they can actually make fake cards look really, really good. Um, and sometimes they're just blatantly obvious to give away. So what we're going to do is I've got a bunch of uh, fake cards here and a bunch of real cards here. And we're going to go through the differences and the similarities and then we'll point out exactly what you want to be looking out for to make sure you don't end up with fake cards. Um, so without further ado, we're going to crash straight into it and we'll probably go through it. it might, um, we'll take it card by card and I'll kind of show you the differences um, in the cards, not including the rarities. Obviously, I'll mention rarities as we go. So we'll zoom in here. Now, obviously, straight away, hopefully you'll be able to see the difference between the two. But obviously, the one on the left is the real card and the one on the right is the fake card. Now, a couple of things that give this away, um, not talking about like the silver and lettering or anything like that. We just want to look at the simple stuff that's always going to be on the card. So you want to look at the um, font of the name. is slightly different. You want to look at the stars, the attribute, um, and then obviously the text in the monster box as well is a big giveaway. And then the most important one is the bottom right hand corners, the um, the little squares. Now basically, for those of you who don't know, gold is basically first edition, limited edition, um, everything that's kind of it's an individual print, whereas silver is used for um, unlimited editions, those that have had second printings or constantly printed. Um, and obviously, as you can see, on the fake one on the left, it actually says first edition. So straight away, that is a massive tell because it's a first edition stamp, but with a unlimited logo in the bottom right hand corner. So that's a straight away automatic tell to say that's wrong. Now, a couple of things that might get people or might kind of give it away or the why people might think they're real is they actually put the right codes in the bottom of the corners and obviously they put the right um, trademark of Konami, uh, Kazuki, Takahashi in the bottom corner as well. Now, obviously, most of the other data is almost correct. Like, the artwork is pretty much correct. You can kind of see that it's a little bit faded on the right-hand side and you can see how the stars kind of look a bit more... Look a bit bigger and look a bit more faded and just less like actual circle stars and more flat. Um, also, you can tell with the attributes if it will focus up for us. There you go. You can tell with the attributes that in the top right hand corner on the left one, it kind of all fits in the circle, whereas on the one on the right, it's got a bit of a bolder outline and it doesn't quite exactly fit. Um, now, the codes also here are a bit of a giveaway. Now, with the official Konami ones, it's more on this one than on the other ones. But on the official Konami ones, they actually say EN. So EN is English. Um, if you have Italian, it'll be like IT uh, and so on and so forth for different languages. Whereas on the fake one, it just it isn't there. There's no like language connection for it. Uh, and then obviously, as you can see in the text boxes, it's a bit more spread out. The font is, again, different. Um, and these are kind of other ways to tell. From the back, they're not like straight giveaways. Obviously, with the back, the fake one is a little bit darker. Um, but everything else is kind of in in scope with the way the card is. Like it's got the Konami trademark in the top left hand corner. It's got the Yu-Gi-Oh logo, but obviously you can see the bit of the difference there. So that's just it for the example of Cyber Dragon. Now I will kind of go through the other ones. Now Compulse is again, it's just to show you what a, a trap is. But the thing with Compulse is, if you look on the left, the real one, it says target one monster in the field, return that target to the hand. Um, whereas the fake one, it says return one monster on the field to its owner's hand. So sometimes they abbreviate, sometimes they change out. And again, this one says first edition with a silver logo in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and again, the whole logo for the trap doesn't exactly fit in the circle. And the font on where it says trap card is a little bit different too. Now, Magic Drain, this one's interesting because, again, not only is the text wrong in the box below when it focuses up, uh, the name is actually different as well. So sometimes you'll get a completely different name for the exact same card. Now, obviously, this isn't a misprint. This is a fake card um, being made. Uh, and sometimes you just get a different name and you kind of have to figure it out. Like I looked on eBay once. I was trying to buy a card um, and I was adamant that the artwork wasn't right to what the, the name of the monster was. So I googled it out and uh, it turns out it was obviously the wrong wrong name for the monster. Now, obviously, in this example, the, the real Magic Jane isn't first edition, so it has no first edition stamp or anything like that, and it has a still silver logo in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, but again, on this one, it says first edition with a silver, so that's another giveaway. Slide for the Sky Dragon. Now, obviously, this one's quite interesting because 
the fake one on the right, obviously you can see like the it's a bit more mirrored, a bit more shiny. Like it's a bit hard to tell over camera, but it does have. Uh, there you go. As you can see, it's got like a full uh, plate in on top, like a um, bit of plastic ceiling. Uh, again, the font's all a little bit different, and this one has the Japanese, this card cannot be used in a duel in the bottom left-hand corner, but it doesn't have limited edition, um, and it also doesn't, again, it also says in the top right-hand corner, it doesn't fit in the circle, uh, and then on the back of this one, obviously with the God cards, they try to make them different coloured backgrounds, uh, obviously you can see with the red one, it is actually red, whereas on the left one, it's brown, brownie. Uh, again, with the Ring Dragon of Ra, font's a bit different. Ring Dragon of Ra says first edition, uh, and obviously the silver little logo in the bottom again. Stars and font are a little bit off, and then again, it also says um, it doesn't fit in the circle right on the above. Uh, and this one, again, with the back of this one, it doesn't actually have... Obviously, the original was a yellow background, whereas this has a normal background. So again, that's another telltale on some of the God cards. Uh, now, the fake obelisk on the right, again, it has a bit of like a shatter foil kind of... Um, overlay to it and the logo in the top is big enough it doesn't even have divine in the uh, the title bit there and also it doesn't have a little silver logo in the bottom right hand corner so that's another big giveaway uh, and then finally we'll wrap it up with the Dark Magician that everyone pretty much knows of sometimes the codes on the right hand side are a massive giveaway as well because when it says like GBI that's supposed to be the set they came from so if you can't find it like google the set just put Yu-Gi-Oh GBI and it should come out of a set if it doesn't come out of a set then you know it's obviously a bit fake and it's not uh, it's never actually had an official print um, now obviously you can see that the fonts are completely different uh, ignore the fact that this is gold it's only because it's ultra um, but again the circle doesn't quite fit the stars are definitely off um, the only thing that's like spot on that you can very ready to do is pr maybe the artwork. It does look a little bit faded, but sometimes you just get different prints between America and Europe and stuff like that. So it's not always as easy to tell. Uh, but again, the fonts are massive giveaway. Uh, and then the first edition with the unlimited logo in the bottom right hand corner. And then just the way the stars and um, fonts kind of look, it's a bit of a giveaway. The back's not actually too bad, to be fair, on this one. So as you can see, it doesn't actually look that fake, um, which is sometimes a bit of a hard way to tell. It's a little bit lighter than the one on the left, the real Dark Magician in the sleeve, but, you know, you can understand why it's harder to tell certain times and certain things with these cards. Um, I hope this has kind of helped. I hope it's given you an idea. Now, I haven't actually bought any recent fake cards, uh, fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I don't know if they've upgraded more or got better with it or, or just what in general um, but I'd like to think there's less and less uh, to kind of pick up just always stick with official stores and official like Konami registered places and stuff like that so you know you're going to get what you pay for um, so yeah thanks for watching I hope this helps I hope this gives you a bit of an idea what to look out for don't forget to like comment subscribe share and until next time guys see ya